You know Arkady Veloz as the Yandex guy, but his real story is way more interesting than that. Arkady Veloz was born in Soviet Kazakhstan in 1964. His dad was an oil geologist and his mother was a music teacher. It was a classic science plus art household. As a kid, he went to a special math and physics school in Almaty, which is where he met another teenage math nerd, Ilya Segalovich. That friendship later became the Yandex co-founder team. Here's the wild part. Arkady didn't even touch a personal computer until his mid-twenties because the USSR hardly had any. When PCs finally started coming in from the West, Arkady began importing computers from Austria and built one of Russia's first network equipment distributors, Comtech International. In parallel, in 1989, he launched a tiny company called Arcadia to write search software for messy, unstructured data in Russian, long before big data was a buzzword. That project evolved into Yandex in the mid-90s. He didn't just run a search engine. Under Vlos, Yandex built maps, ride hailing, music, payments, e-commerce, and self-driving cars, plus the Yandex School of Data Analysis, which is a free, elite AI school that quietly trained a generation of machine learning talent. In 2014, after Crimea, he quietly moved his family to Israel, focusing on the international side of business and investing in local deep tech startups like Face.com and Neurostia. After the full-scale war in Ukraine and EU sanctions, he stepped down from Yandex. He publicly called the invasion barbaric and pushed to separate and sell the Russian assets. Then he pivoted what was left into a new AI infrastructure company headquartered in Europe and Israel, what we now know as Nebius Group, ticker symbol NBIS. So, when you see the CEO of Nebius, remember, this is a Kazakhstan-born math prodigy trained in the Soviet system who moved to Israel, built one internet giant, survived sanctions and geopolitics, and is now betting his second act on AI cloud and GPUs. Which brings us back to the question, you know RKD Veloz as the Yandex guy, but is he actually the quiet architect behind what could be Europe's next big AI infrastructure cloud champion with Nebius?